Hi, we're the Yes Men and we're here in Southern California in the middle of the biggest water crisis ever. Public authorities tell us we gotta limit our showers or not flush when we pee or not plant such big lawns, but what about beef? Why isn't anybody talking about that? Today, we're representing the beef industry, Beef America, which has promoted a solution to the whole problem of cows using so much water, which is to basically encourage people to skip dozens and dozens of showers at a time in order to eat beef, to compensate for, for the beef they eat. We are giving people a special list of possible ways to do that. You have to skip about 40 showers, go for 40 days without a shower in order to have about four to six ounces of, of steak. It's worth it. It's good. It's good steak. You want to spend a lot of money on that steak after all that time too. You know? But you can also um, offset it by uh, hiring somebody else not to shower. Yeah, like That's French another. people. Yeah. <laughs> so we're here on the set for this Funnier Die video. This is going to be the commercial for Beef America's Skip Showers for Beef campaign, which is all about trying to get people not to shower so they can eat beef. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm acting in a funny little Funnier Die video. What's it about? Uh, it's about these two sort of hip, LA people who think that they're doing the right thing by not showering. Yep, just doing my elbows. So instead of, you know, saving water in some other way, or maybe stopping eating meat altogether, they decide, no, we're gonna stop showering so we can still eat the red meat that we enjoy. So yeah, what does it actually feel like to be living in California with the drought, and have you had to confront any of the drought on your own? Trying to take quicker showers and um, bathing together. <laughs> that's okay. That's pretty good. And do you think that stuff actually makes a difference relative to the huge scale of something like the beef industry? I don't think so, but it makes me feel a little bit better. We, we got the doctor. Oh, yeah. excellent. Okay. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good, good, good. Uh, we just had a, a little medical question. Sure. How long not showering before you get what diseases? Like, what problems? I mean, like, Is how does your skin react to, like, let's say, 72 days without a shower? I mean, it depends on what you did in that 72 days. I mean, are you running marathon? Are you rolling around in dirt? Are you, right. you know, right. I would, I, you know. Do you have any cuts? Do you have any open abrasions? Anything like that? Right. That would affect, you know, the time period of whether or not you would catch something would without it, showering. Okay. Would it help to rub, like, a, a you know, a sort of, like, not sandpaper, but like some kind of like an abrasive uh, thing over your, your surfaces. Here's, here's what I would suggest then. Uh, if you would like to continue with that, um, a, a damp, moist uh, uh, washcloth, hand towel. Uh, just do a quick rub, you know, we call it a hooker bath. You know, just get that. And that way you can get some of the benefits of washing away some of the bacteria that you need. And you can still follow along with that pledge. Where are you going for burgers, guys? We got a recommendation? Uh, umami burger's great. Those okay. burgers are kind of thick, so you might want to go an extra like week or two right. uh, without showering if you're going to go with umami. Okay. If you're going to go with In-N-Out, though, they're great. So you can actually cut back on that and go 50 days uh, without showering for the In-N-Out burgers, because they're kind of thin. And they're natural. They're good. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Uh, awesome. Anybody awesome. got any uh, sexually transmitted diseases questions? <laughs> <laughs> We came here with our friend Tito Ibarra, who's going to go and ask some people about their beef consumption. Are them guys down there? How about the guys, the next guys over? What's up, man? You guys mind if I join you? No? So how long has it been since your last shower? <laughs> uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Cool. How about yours, man? Wait, you said shower, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Today. I thought, oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, I thought maybe you guys were keeping up with the new trend. What's that? The, uh, the no showering, the eat beef trend. That's a, that's a thing? It's a movement, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, you haven't heard of it? No. Uh, make this hamburger right here. It takes about 55 gallons of water to make this little burger right here. And you know we're in a drought, right? So people are trying to balance that out, you know, by giving up showers so they can have their burger. I haven't showered in 55 days, man, because it takes me about a gallon to shower. And that's a quick shower, you know what I mean? I'm a big dude. 
Yeah. I was gonna not shower for 110 days so I could have two burgers, but I'm on a diet. So uh, how many days has it been for you? Days what? Without showering. Uh, zero? I don't know, this morning? This morning? Uh, it's been like 22 for me. I'm with the whole uh, not showering to eat beef movement. A move, there's a, is that a, is a movement now? Yeah, yeah, it's becoming quite the trend, man. It's why, like, uh, why? Well, you know, we're in a drought here in California, right? Yeah, so in order to like produce like a little third pound patty, it takes like 55 showers, man, to produce that much, a little yeah. patty like that. Yeah. yeah, I believe that. I mean, you eat, you eat one burger, that's enough water to fill a whole hot tub. 10 years of the beef industry, that's enough water to fill Lake Tahoe. I mean, like animal agriculture in general, it takes up half the water, more than half the water in the United States. That ain't my fault though, because I've been skipping showers, bro. I mean, it's kind of your fault, because you're eating burgers, right? Like, you keep eating all the animal products, like, you're you're doing more damage than you're, than you're, than you're fixing but, by not showering. Yeah, but I, I, gotta, I gotta eat, though. Yeah, me too. You just don't eat animals, right? You, you just, just don't eat animals? Yeah, you eat like beans that's and grains, of. and there's so much stuff. Who does that? Like millions of people do that. Like millions? literally millions of people in this country alone do really? that. Really? Yeah. Where are they all at? Yeah, like you know, around. I guess, I don't know. Like they're just like around here. So you know, you know, what's weird is working on this project has made me actually. I mean, I don't eat beef right now. I'm not eating beef. And Hello. I guess that's kind of one of the big challenges with climate change is how do we address that? How do we change our habits? Yeah. You know? I mean, I think it's it's more like how do we shut down factory farming of beef, you know, how do yeah, we shut yeah. down the industry? Because, like, you know, we're always told it's our fault, we need to recycle or, you know, take shorter showers or whatever to deal with this drought. But well, that's all distraction, right? It's, yeah, it's nothing. I mean, we need to take action as citizens and actually do something real. Oh. Like, stop them from, you know. Yeah, it's like what's in our new movie, The Yes Men Are Revolting. It's yeah. about putting pressure on government yeah. to create the laws that make the change happen. Through direct action. See it. It's a good movie. Check it out.